First I'm going to use a chamois, clean that rim up. Then I'm going to define this by using the knife edge of my wooden tool. And I'm going to just make little impressions here, lifting up the rim in four part, four places just to give the rim a little more interest. Okay, so I'm ready to cut this one off. Now, um, my husband who apprenticed in Japan learned this really cool technique, a way for you not to have to lift, it, lift the pot up so that you'd end up distorting the pot, but rather um, making two cuts with your wire tool. So I'll make the first shadow, which is gonna be the base of my pot. Then I'm gonna cut straight down into this hump and then I'm gonna cut in and this one is gonna be I don't know it's about a half an inch lower something like that and I'm gonna make another cut and what this is gonna be is this is gonna be like a clay patty that can be discarded and then I'm gonna make two cuts with my wire tool so one there one here and then I'm going to lift up with my fingers just on this lower patty, and that way I don't mar up the bowl at all. And then when, these are, when this is ready to trim, this will just rip right off because it's been wire tooled. So here's the bowl form that I threw off the hump. And remember with this one, I used that waster slab. Now that these two are um, leather hard, they're going to pop right apart from each other. There we go. Okay, so I've removed the waster slab off the bottom of this, but because this rim has so much detail, I don't want to turn it upside down and put it right on my wheel head because I could dent or crack these areas here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw a little um, hump that then I can set this on top of and trim the piece without the rim touching the, the wheel. All right, so I'm just going to center this lump of clay. And if you have a pre-made chuck, like a bis chuck or something like that, you can use it. But if you don't have one that fits the size of your bowl, you can just throw one really quick. And the most important thing with um, making a chuck is you want to, you don't want it totally dome shaped for a bowl because other, if you have it dome shaped, the bowl is gonna kind of rock around. So just make sure the top of it is slightly concave. And then it's going to hit the bowl in these areas. When you just throw a wet chuck for a piece, you're going to want to get a piece of plastic that you can drape over. And that's so that the bowl won't stick to the entire chuck, but will only stick in a couple areas. All right, I'm going to set the bowl down on top of this. And I want to get it centered. Make sure that it's level this way first. Okay, that's pretty level that way. Then I'm going to make sure that it's centered this way here on the side. Looking at the shape of the foot and um, the shape of the foot on the outside, and I think I want to remove a, just a little bit more from the top. So I'll take just a little bit more off here. Maybe I want it to look like a rounded foot. Again, these are all personal decisions. I encourage you to experiment with all different forms. And now I can remove this from the chuck. So a little wiggle and a pull. And you'll get a couple spots where the chuck has stuck to the bowl on the inside. Just take your finger and smooth those out. There you go.